Welcome to our Facebook Live every Wednesday and Saturday at 10 o'clock. I just want again to welcome all of you back to our Facebook Live Wednesday and Saturday at 10 o'clock Central Time. Thank you for sending me your questions, concerns, and your comments. And thank you so very much for sharing this Facebook Live with others. Well, because of COVID-19 or all the circumstances around it, the setbacks or poor choices, you have to put a tremendous amount of effort this year or last year into making day to day. Many people have been struggling just to keep their head above water. You too might be in a survival mode. There are three areas most people often settle into. Survival, success, or significance. Today, I'm going to share with you each area, survival, success, significance, can mean to you and me. If you need more help or more coaching, go to virginiaprodanbooks.com slash freedom coaching. We are here to help you. Please join the conversation by sending, continue sending your questions and concerns and comments. We are here to help you. Delighted to help you. So, Let's start outlining a few very important things for our discussion. Just because you have survived a hard situation or hardship or challenging circumstances does not necessarily mean that you are even healed from your hardship or deal or that you are successful. Many people think, I survived, I'm successful. To be successful does not always equal that you are living a life of significance. So with that in mind, what is the difference between being a survivor and being a successful person? What is the difference between a person who is viewing a successful person and one who is, has lived or is living a life of significance. Well, the difference lies in the degree to which a person is authentic and true to their purpose in life, honest about whether they have truly healed and learned from their past hardship or real circumstances, and whether or not their personal healing process impacts the lives of others in a positive and significant way. First, if you live a life of survival, you continue to live or exist, typically in spite of all your difficult past or difficult circumstances in your life. You maybe survive abuses a different type, difficult relationships, several financial hardships, that of a loved one, or significant health issues and came through on the other side. That's good. There are many people walking around us and uh, like this. They are alive and well, but they are merely surviving. Their lives are built upon the pain of their past. Their identity are bound and tied up in what happened to them. They have not scratched the surface of what they are beyond what they have endured. And that is said, usually, survivors proudly wear their surviving badge and appear they are okay on the outside, but inside they are walking wounded people. Because the surviving badge covers their painful issues, they think they are healed, but they are not. They fail to really discover 
by doing that, their purpose and passion in life because they will not leave the badge so the healing process can begin. Without the healing, the unresolved issues will cause them to self-sabotage when opportunities will come to walk in their amazing, amazing destiny. Therefore, their God-given gifts, talents, desire, abilities will remain dormant or never reach the full potential. Moreover, that triggers, unhealing process triggers continual chaos in their lives as wrong type of people or circumstances will show up in their life again and again. It's like a circle. Second, what is a life of success? A person can transit from survival to success over time depending on their own perception of success. Often success includes power, popularity, position, good job, husband, wife, kids, money, brand name, brand clothes, nice car, uh, big house, and so forth. Yet we all know people who have those material things but are very miserable. We see celebrities who live life, this style of life, but it's obviously that the more material increase only magnifies their unresolved issues and sometimes lack of character. The outward appearance of success further validates their faulty perception, but inward they have not changed. When the storms of life come, they fall below survival mode because they have no roots. Because they are emotionally and spiritually shallow, they lack the deep and perception required to recognize their pattern and what God is trying to show them, their amazing purpose. <clears throat> their main for purpose during the storm is to maintain the facade of success. And this is particularly dangerous for those in leadership position or sphere of influence who are not accountable to anyone than themselves. Think of high profile athletes, business leaders, ministers or politicians with hidden issues, unresolved mess running in the background of their successful life. No wonder why it is so shocking when they are exposed and exposed to the world. They never dealt with their stuff. They sweep under the carpet or under the survival badge for years because it was too messy, shameful, and painful to deal with. And some of them, you heard it saying, I don't have the time to deal with. It's easy to keep it moving until the unexpected happens that expose them and the house of cards trumbles down. Often, when the successful life trumbles, the impact is very negative, sad, too sad. Third, what is the life of significance? A life of significance to me, it's a life of courage and bravery. It requires courage to unpack and resolve the issues that keep you messy, out of balance, out of order, out of sync, and finally resolve them and be who God created you to be. In this transformation process, the pain or the struggle, it's a very important clue that something is wrong, out of order in your life. Those who are determined to live a life of significance, don't miss those clues. They, you and I, become self-aware, knowing in our hearts that God has called us to a higher level of living. When the pain of staying at the same level, it's harder than the pain of change, 
then you and I are ready to live a life of significance. This process is not easy, does not come without paying the price of becoming responsible for living at a higher level. Once you have realized and you accept that you are called to live a life of significance, then you cannot longer live at a lesser level. Once you began the process of healing, you have now positioned yourself to live a life of significance. Congratulations. And the same life message and life lessons that you survive you endure will be the very platform from which your significance will come. You, as a person with a significant life, you have not merely survived, but you have now reason about your circumstances. You are now in a position to help others to live the same life of significance and to bring glory to God through the message of their significant life. What a beautiful way. Your life of significance is now fulfilled and has an amazing joy. It's not based anymore on short living circumstances, circumstantial happiness. Your life of significance impacts others in a powerful, profound, and positive way. As a follower of Christ, I know that Christ set me free, John 8, 32. He paid the price for me and for you to walk from survival to success and become significant in this life. When you and I live in his truth, and walk out the process of becoming who we were created to be and live a significant life, we light the way for others to live and lead a significant life. Because when you consider the limitation of success, success flows through the economy, national or the world economy, all the time. When the economy takes a downturn, so does the network. Success ends on the day you die, as all your wealth will be immediately transferred to someone, to your relatives or to the government, if you don't have a will. Success is never enough and will never satisfy our soul. It always leaves us wanting more. And now compared to the advantage of living a significant life, your significant life will last you and nothing and nobody can take that away from you. Your significant life carries on and keeps on giving. It multiplies, impact the life on one person, impacts the life and influence on another and another. Your significant life satisfies your deep heart and soul. At the end, you'll look back and you'll say, I live a fulfilled life. Because success, it means you are winning. But significance is you're helping others to win too. Success leaves a fingerprint on lives, but significance leaves a footprint on souls of many. Unfortunately, many people spend most of their lives chasing success, and many in particular financial success. Some achieve it more than others, but at the end, most of all will find it unfulfilling. Nevertheless, when you begin to shift your life focus to significant life, instead only on living a life of success, you wonder why you wasted most of your life chasing something different. 
So don't waste your life seeking only success, but aim higher. Seek significance. Live a life of significance. If you need more help or coaching, go to virginiapradanabooks.com slash freedom coaching. Please join the conversation by posting your definition of life of success and life of significance. And tell us how you are practicing living your life. You are here for a purpose and with a purpose. You are here to live a life of significance, not only a life of success to leave a footprint for generations to come and to do your best that your life will not move from survival, but also to success in life, to living to the highest level, to the life of significance. You are here to leave a legacy of significance that your life will last you and impact generations to come. Until our next Facebook Live, every Wednesday and Saturday at 10 o'clock Central Time, keep in touch and tell us how you live a life of success and significance. God bless you. Bye-bye.